Hello, my name is Stephen Daniel with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video is about how you can disable the Services Virtual Machine on System Platform 6.2. Beginning with System Platform 6.2, the Secure Access Link Gateway is no longer co-resident with the CDOM Virtual Machine, but rather has been moved to a new and separate virtual machine. This new guest is referred to as the Services Virtual Machine, or SVM for short. Because of this change, the cell gateway no longer shares the same IP address as CDOM and now has its own unique IP address assigned to it. Please note then that if you do decide to disable your SVM, you can reclaim the IP address assigned to it. However, it is recommended that you not reassign it in the event you ever need to re-enable your SVM in the future. Please keep the following points in mind prior to disabling the services virtual machine. Disabling the SVM is only available on system platform 6.2. Unlike disabling your Secure Access Link Gateway, disabling the SVM allows System Platform to reclaim system resources such as memory and CPU. You should only disable your SVM after migrating your System Platform and Solution Template devices to an external standalone gateway. Disabling your SVM will restart your network services and System Platform may not process packets during these few seconds. And finally, it is recommended that you access your cell gateway before disabling your SVM and write down or export the details of your managed elements for future reference. Also worth mentioning are the differences between disabling the cell gateway or disabling the SVM. Disabling the cell gateway only stops the Linux services of the cell gateway, but does not shut down the guest virtual machine. Disabling the SVM on the other hand shuts down the entire guest virtual machine, which consequently also disables the cell gateway and allows system platform to reclaim any CPU and memory resources previously assigned to the SVM. Therefore, when deciding between disabling your cell gateway or disabling your SVM in your environment, take these differences into consideration. Let's begin. We'll start by logging into System Platform with the admin account or any AST protected account such as Craft, INEDS, or init. For this how-to, I will be using the admin account. I'll go ahead and enter admin for my user ID, then press enter. I'll then enter my password and again press return to authenticate. And after a few brief moments, I will be at my system platform landing page. Now, one thing I'd like to point out, you'll notice here under the virtual machine list that our SVM is up and running. This is shown under the state column. But you can also see that our cell gateway, which is the application running on the SVM, is also up and active. This is shown under the application state column. After disabling our SVM, We'll revisit this page to confirm that our SVM has in fact been disabled. Okay, let's move forward. On the left navigation pane, click on Server Management to expand the list of submenu items. Now, from the submenu list, click on Network Configuration to access the System Platform and Virtual Machine Network Details page. From here, move to the bottom of the page by scrolling down or by pressing the Page Down key. As you can see here, we have a section titled Template Services VM. This is where we will disable our SVM. I'll remove the checkbox next to the Enable Services VM label. The system will prompt me to confirm this action and acknowledge a system message that the SVM guest will be shut down and that system platform may now reclaim its resources. I'll do that by clicking OK. Now I will need to press Save to commit my changes. Again. I'll be prompted to confirm this action and acknowledge a system message that I may need to log back into my web console. So I'll do that once again by clicking OK. And the process is now off and running. Now this process takes approximately two minutes to complete, but has been accelerated here for this tutorial. After the change is complete, you will see a message above showing settings updated successfully. Let's fully confirm this by now navigating back to the system platform homepage and confirming that the virtual machine list no longer shows our SVM. I'll do that now by clicking the home link. And as you can see here, the SVM is no longer listed as one of our active guests. Thank you for your time today. We hope this information was useful. You're welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at avaya mentor. Thank you for choosing avaya.